Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 14.6 update on my iPhone XR. As you can see, I had taken a screenshot yesterday night and it came in about 584.6 NB on my iPhone XR. So I have few other details as well. In this video, I'm going to talk about all the changes that we get to see on iOS 14.6. And um, this iOS 14.6 is available for all iOS 14 supported devices. So if you're not able to see the update, just go to general and go to software updates. Make sure your automatic updates is turned off. Then connect your phone to Wi-Fi and try again. So you would be able to update your device to iOS 14.6. So in this video specifically, I'm going to talk about all the changes that Apple has brought with iOS 14.6 and what are the new improvements as well I'm going to talk about few of the bug fixes that actually got fixed with this new iOS 14.6 update. So without further ado let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also it's a humble request to all of you watching this video do consider subscribing to the channel because it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos. With that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to about section. So as you can see, the software version is iOS 14.6 and the build number is 18F72. And the biggest change with this iOS 14.6 update is that we have a new modem firmware. So the modem firmware is 3.04.01. So if you were having cellular network reception issues previously, it should be solved with this new modem firmware update. Now, as I said before, I had taken a screenshot. So as you can see, this was the information and about the section before updating the device. As you can see here, so it clearly says the software version was 18E212 and the modem firmware was 3.03.05. So before updating the available size was 26.1 GB and as you can see after updating the size has little bit increased it is now 27.26 GB and as you can see guys this is the new modem firmware that is 3.04.01 so that's about the about section now we are going to talk about the changes so biggest change would be uh, regarding the podcast application so if i go to this podcast application they have improved the suggestion and to improve the subscription as well so if you tap on this listen now option you would be able to see your icon and here you can see this manage subscription option so that's new here apart from that also there are quite a few changes in the interface so you would be able to notice if you uh, use this apple podcast on day-to-day -day basis apart from that they have you know changed in apple music as well so in some of the apple music libraries you would be able to see this option which says apple digital master so all of us know that apple is going to release lossless audio and also it will bring the support for special audio as well so sadly this you know lossless audio won't be supported with this airpods since it's based on bluetooth so it won't be supported but we can use the special audio if you are subscribed to apple music so you can use that so that's new with the apple music as well now talking about the settings the interface has changed quite a bit as well if i go to the settings menu and if i come down to music let me show you now you can see that this mobile data option is available so with help of cellular data you can download the music and if i go to this you know download option let me go to this mobile streaming option you can see there it gives you an option to high efficiency and high frequency and i'm sure that once this lossless audio that comes out it will give you an option for that as well so that's regarding the changes now one more thing apple has brought here is if i go to this accessibility option let me go to the accessibility first and then let me show you if i go to this accessibility and if i go to this voice control so if the voice control is on as you can see there's a little mic that pops up so if you're using voice control then some people were earlier having uh, trouble to reboot the phone and while it reboots you basically were not able to unlock the phone with the voice control but with iOS 14.6 update now this issue has been fixed so that's regarding that and now let me talk about the battery because a lot of people are interested more in the battery section how it performs how is the battery life 
and whether the battery health has been decreased or what is going on so let me go to the battery section so let me uh, click on this battery option right now and let me show you the battery health first then we're going to talk about the battery life so as you can see after updating to ios 14.6 as well the capacity remains 90 percent which is really good because i have been using this phone for more than two and a half years now so for two and a half years 90 percent battery capacity is a great thumbs up you have to agree on that and it supports peak performance capability and if we go back as you can see the last 24 hours graph looks like this i've been getting a screen on time of 4 hour 36 minutes and if i go to last 10 days this is how the scenario is so now i tell you this with my every update video that it's not possible to comment about how's the battery life when a software comes out because yesterday only i received this ios 14.6 update so let me use this ios 14.6 update on my iphone 10r for a couple of days i will surely come back to you with a battery life update with a dedicated video how's the battery is performing whether you should be skeptical or not in terms of regarding the update or not apart from battery apple has also provided some of the security and fixed some of the security things so definitely if you are on ios 14.5.1 you should update to iOS 14.6 with iOS 14.6 and with iOS 14.7 coming in the future we are more closely uh, taking a step towards iOS 15 so I'm excited about that as well so this was some of the changes I know there are a lot of other changes as well but these were some of the key changes that I wanted to talk about now let's talk about the performance because I have been using this uh, device now for last five to six hours with iOS 14.6 and the performance uh, seems to be okay because there's no issue with the performance before and I don't see an issue with the performance now as well. Now there's one more thing that I would like to mention. If you have this toggle, you would be able to you know, uh, see this search arm option. As you can see, this is a search arm. So this basically you know, helps you to recognize any music if it plays in the background. So if I search here as I type Sazam, as you can see Sazam is not there. Actually the application is not installed on my phone. But if you add it in the control center, you would be able to see this option. Now it gives you an app clip. If you play a song, if you tap on the top notification center, it gives you an app clip which says you to basically integrate the application for better experience. So we have seen that app clip had come out before, but it seems like app clip is being integrated more closely with all the native applications. Now there are different, uh, you know, splash screens. Once, you know, I open the Play Store, there is this kind of different splash screen I got. Now once I open the Apple TV, also I see this different kind of, uh, you know, splash screen as well, which says about the Apple originals. And also now they talk about the Apple TV channels, which says, pay for just the channel you want share with six family members and things like that so these are the little changes that i was able to notice with ios 14.6 i'm sure there are more changes than here and there so i've just been using the device for five to six hours i'm sure i will come back with a you know more feature or follow-up review so stay tuned to that and then again i hope this video was kind of useful let me know whether you have still updated to ios 14.6 or not because it has been now out for nine to ten hours so definitely definitely update to ios 14.6 so let me know in the comment section below as well what are the new features that you are able to notice till now then again i hope you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you do like this video and also it's a humble request do subscribe to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you and with that being said i will see you on my next video bye